A group of researchers uh, from Life Sciences Center were working with pore forming bacterial toxins over a decade, including pneumolysin. This uh, uh, toxin produced by pneumococcus has various negative effects on the human body. Additionally, pneumolysin has a way how to help pneumococcus uh, trick the immune system by suppressing immune response enabling the enhancement of pathogenesis. For better understanding the action of pneumolysin, we have developed a collection of monoclonal antibodies capable to neutralize the, the cytotoxic effect induced by this toxin. The antibodies also were shown to be the promising tool for quantitative detection of pneumolysin in various pneumococcal strains. Uh, the developed antibodies um, are excellent tools for studying of pneumolysin or similar um, toxins and for hoping with pneumococcal infection in the future. CRISP-Cas technology, the discovery of which was contributed immensely by Professor Virginia Shikshnis from Vilnius University, raised a real revolution in the field of genome editing. This technology is adopted now for human gene therapy, for example, in the treatment of genetic diseases such as sickle cell disease or beta thalassemia caused by the mutations in the corresponding genes. CRISPR-Cas enzymes act as extremely specific molecular scissors, cleaving the only mutated gene in a whole human genome resulting in its correction. However, CRISPR-Cas nucleases can also cleave DNA at unintended sites, causing cell death or even their transformation to cancer cells. Therefore, in order to make genome editing technology safer, we are developing a method called CleaveSeq to evaluate the specificity of a CRISPR-Cas nuclease for every particular case, making personalized medicine a reality. At Life Sciences Center, seeking to develop a functional artificial tissue such as bone or urethra, we collaborate with polymer chemists who synthesize biopolymers for three-dimensional scaffolds with laser physics, who search for novel techniques suitable for microstructurization of those scaffolds with medical doctors, uh, odontologists and urologists who reveal a demand of uh, functional artificial tissues and test them in an organism. Our task is to evaluate how uh, mechanics regulate uh, cell behavior and that signaling molecules are responsible for the determination of cell fate. We have already obtained uh, promising results in bone tissue in regeneration and believe that for our studies will allow to produce uh, clinically relevant uh, technologies capable of improving patient outcomes. Mm -hmm. At the Department of Biological DNA Modification, we study epigenetics, focusing on DNA modification, which is a well-known uh, molecular mechanism used by cells for the regulation of gene expression. And this regulation is uh, vital for uh, a good health and is uh, disrupted uh, uh, in many kinds of diseases. So therefore, we are developing new techniques that can map that uh, DNA modification as a whole genome scale and very precisely and sensitively, but still at a very competitive price. Uh, we base our technology on uh, covalent chemoenzymatic labeling of DNA, and then uh, mapping uh, those uh, DNA sites with uh, sequencing, microarrays, or uh, quantitative PCR. Overall, covalent DNA labeling is a very powerful technique that enables early diagnostics of many complex diseases, including cancer.